police are tonight questioning five suspected Al-Shabaab members arrested following an attempted attack at Manda Airstrip in Lamu County. The five were arrested after the dawn attack in which five of their colleagues were shot dead. While well, two light aircrafts and several vehicles were destroyed in the attack as militants attempted to gain access into Simba military camp through the airstrip. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, security has been heightened in major cities, including Nairobi and Mombasa. Sunday morning and residents of Lamu woke up to scenes of thick black smoke and heavy gunfire from Manda airstrip. The aftermath of a daring attempt by the Al-Shabaab militia to attack and overrun the Simba camp next to the airstrip. Heavy gunfire ensued between the soldiers and the militants who initiated the offensive using suicide bombers. Sources say two light aircrafts and two U.S. Army helicopters were destroyed. KDF spokesman Colonel Paul Njuguna says the huge cloud of smoke seen came from affected fuel tanks located at the airstrip. In a statement to newsroom, Colonel Njuguna stated that around 5.30 a.m. an attempt was made to breach security at Manda airstrip. The attempted breach was successfully repulsed. Five bodies belonging to terrorists were recovered thereafter. Five other suspected Al-Shabaab militants were arrested outside the airstrip as they attempted to change into civilian wear and beat their combat fatigue. When the guns went silent, in addition to the five bodies, officers recovered one PKM machine gun, four rocket-propelled grenade launchers, four AK-47 assault rifles, one hand grenade and assorted ammunition. Residents of Hindi, around six kilometers from the scene of attack, say the militants disrupted power before for launching the attack, a way to perhaps interfere with effective communication. The Al-Qaeda-linked Somalia-based Al-Shabaab terror outfit claimed responsibility of the attack, saying it was aimed at Simba Camp, a military base with both Kenyan and American soldiers. The U.S. Africa Command acknowledged the attack and its damaging effect to infrastructure and equipment. The Kenya Civil Aviation Authority has since lifted the temporary closure of the Lamu civilian airstrip. The attack has sparked heightened security across the country, a sport check indicating that officers have been deployed in their numbers in major towns. The attack comes just three days after Al-Shabaab insurgents attack passenger buses at Nyangoro area near Witu town in Lamu County, killing three people and barely a fortnight after more than 80 people were killed in a blast in Mogadishu, Somalia. Hassan Mugambe, Citizen TV.